Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Oleg Drut. I'm a clinical director of Diamond Braces and uh, I don't have any financial interest in any of the companies, but I like in, in to use Invisalign for my patients. Why? Because they deliver results. Of course, I'm responsible for the results. A patient is responsible for compliance or listen to my instructions. And in this video, I will let you discuss why it's important to choose a doctor, why it's important to see the doctor and to know who is treating you. Okay, why is it important to know the doctor license who is treating you? Because it's really success depends on the doctor. So outcome depends on the doctor. And as an example, I'm going to show you a patient. His name is Joshua. He came to our office with a complaint that he doesn't like his teeth. They're crowded and you can see the lower front teeth are crowded. Upper front teeth are, you have the enamel attrition as you can see. He's wearing off the enamel and he's not happy about this. So we scanned his teeth, we sent the scan to Invisalign, and Invisalign sent us back this, what's called clean check, that's a software with attachments, set of attachments that I requested with a particular attachment. And now I'm looking at the 24 trays, one week changes and how the teeth move. And my job is to assess those movements and to make sure they're physiologically possible. And I'm looking at the whole thing and now I'm gonna start modifying them and send it back to technician to finalization. So I'm looking at the bite and I really don't like the way it's too shallow. So I'm going to do interproximal reduction. It's a reshaping of the enamel, absolutely harmless procedure and it doesn't damage any teeth. As a matter of fact, many people ask me this question, but it's really harmless. In fact, it protects the teeth. It makes the teeth stronger. The only issue sometimes if the doctor removes too much enamel, but but this is not the case with orthodontics. Okay, so let's, with a, there's a lower attachments. I'm not happy the way they position. We're gonna put them slightly lower so when he bites down, it's not in a way. Okay, so this is good. Now we're gonna look at the upper and I'm looking at all the six planes of space. As you can see, all teeth, I have to check all the numbers here. And technicians know me because we have thousands of cases and we select and hand train those, hand pick those technicians in, and they actually work with our, with our group and they, uh, they know the set of attachments we use for a particular case. I wrote them the instructions. So to simplify my job and I can see the, like for example, upper right cannon. I don't like this attachment. So we're gonna move it to this one because it's gonna be better for this particular movement of the, of the tooth, okay? And I will make this tooth slightly longer in this situation, okay? Uh, now, upper, the, the small tooth in this situation, I really don't like the position of this attachment. Based on the number of what I see, I move it like this, angulate this and make it slightly bigger. Okay, go to the next tooth. I would put this attachment on this tooth and I would rotate it to this side because of the rotation that present in the movement. Now, this one, I'm gonna move this attachment. I'm gonna take this attachment, move it here, and I will angulate it to this side. And I will make it a little bit less pronounced. Just like that. Now this one, this one is, I'm going to move this to slightly higher up and this one slightly lower to support this tooth and I will put attachments like this to make sure the tray working, the plastic works in this particular situation when Joshua wires them. This is good, this is good, this is good. So the upper arch is done. We're gonna go start, start from the lower, okay? So now I'm going to highlight all four front teeth on him. As you can see here, and we're going to move the teeth slightly this direction. So the, the gum level is much healthier and the bone level is better in this situation when, when the teeth moved. Okay, now this tooth, 
I like this a lot. This is good. This is good. This attachment we have to move. We have to move to 45 degree angle to towards the force of uh, the the force because of rotation. 25 degree. This is good. And then this is good. This one we're gonna place attachments like that to support this. And these two attachments, I'm gonna move them slightly lower so when Joshua bites down, it's much more comfortable for him. So this is the, the ready case that I'm gonna send it to the technician in to finalize the case. And I'm gonna click submit button. And after that, the technician will send me back the file and I will go over this file and approve it and in about three four weeks we're gonna get attached uh, the whole setup back to our office and we patient comes in we'll, we'll, we'll put attachments on him and we'll give them first trace with the instructions so from this video you can see you can appreciate the fact that attention to small details to to a couple of degrees of rotations or inclination of the tooth leads to a happier patient that's why selection of the doctor is of absolute importance. You have to know the doctor, you have to speak to the doctor, and the doctor has to speak to you actually to understand what you want before you commit to some type of teledentistry that you never speak to the doctor. It's just not gonna work. Because we're talking about tooth movement, attention to details, customization, it's a highly customized appliance. So there is no easy case in reality. It really depends on the experience of the doctor. Therefore, before you sell, before you commit and spend your money on some part of te teledentistry, okay, on direct to consumer cases, you better speak to orthodontist. You go to the office, you speak, you ask many questions, go to second opinion, third opinion, and select the right provider, the right doctor for you. And I hope this video helps you. Thank you very much, guys. Have a nice day.